Hey, okay, so it's been a while since I made a little video, and I thought today would be a good chance to uh, uh, start on this project again, because pretty soon we're going to be introducing rings, and if we're going to get into the business of making jewelry, uh, why not start with something fun like this one here? This is a prototype of a ring made out of beryllium metal. Now, most people have never even heard of this metal, and uh, one of the reasons, the primary reason, is because it's pretty rare. Uh, <clears throat> it's not that rare in nature, uh, but it is very rare, commercially speaking, uh, because it's very difficult to separate it from its ore, uh, that being beryl. If you've ever seen emeralds and you're looking at the <clears throat> excuse me, the ore for beryllium, and that's not exactly abundant. So um, I read up on the stats, and it looks like for every uh, ton that refiners make of this metal, um, there's like 10 of, of gold. So that gives you some perspective. Uh, most of the beryllium that does get mined comes right here from the USA, uh, which is, you know, a change of pace. Um, this one, however, was made in China, like everything else, right? Uh, but I believe it's the very first time that there's been a wearable made out of beryllium metal. And I think it would be, uh, it does make for a, a really compelling uh, metal to be made into jewelry because it's rare and valuable. And not just that, it's also... Uh, very hard. It's as hard as titanium, and yet it's lighter than aluminum. And I wanted to show you by way of comparison. I have three bands now, uh, wedding bands. I'm not really a jewelry guy, but uh, I <laughs> just the perks of work. I have to get these prototypes, and I might as well wear them. And I wanted to show you uh, what a uh, a normal ring that's made out of a precious metal, in this case, uh, I have here uh, osmium and rhenium. And these are comparable to uh, platinum rings in terms of weight, uh, a little heavier. But you can see, you know, that pulls in at almost half an ounce. That's 14 and a half grams. Uh, this is a little lighter rhenium. Um, so this is what you would expect to have for a five band, five, five millimeter band, uh, in terms of, you know, made in, in this uh, type of finish, uh, in terms of weight. But beryllium, whoops, let's see what that comes in at. <laughs> oh God, that's a gram. That's, that's like wearing nothing at all. Aluminum, an aluminum ring made out of, uh, you know, in the same shape and size would weigh like almost twice as much. And a titanium one would easily more than twice as much. Uh, a gram is just, just to give you perspective, a gram, it, it, a dime weighs two and a half grams. That's a third of a penny. <laughs> so it, it's, it's, it's almost unreal at the under, at the other end of the scale of what, you know, something like uh, uh, osmium would be. And I, I know people really want to see uh, uh, more on this ring. I'll, I'll do that next. But for now, uh, I think this, this takes the, the, the cake for, you know, an exotic metal that can be turned into uh, a wedding band. Um, and what else can I say? It's, it's not cheap. It's, uh, this clocks in at $500 and it took three months to make. But, um, it's the only one in the world, and, you know, if you wanted to have one, then I, I don't know, you know, maybe your significant other would be like, what, 500 bucks, and what did you say it was? <laughs> so uh, it would appeal to, you know, uh, somebody who was into, say, titanium rings or um, tantalum or something like that that's exotic, but you want to take it up to the next level. Um, that's, I think, you know, a good uh, target demographic for something like this. The, the lab can make 
them very, very uh, small amounts. So this isn't going to take the jewelry world by storm or anything like that, but it would be an amazing conversation piece, I think, you know, especially when, when, when you can actually feel it in hand. It's like, I don't know, like, there's almost you you can sense that if it's on your hands but it's almost like plastic or something like that so i think that does make it really cool and it's also again very hard so it it, it would it should hold up really well to uh daily wear and not lose its polish uh over time uh compared to definitely compared to platinum or gold because those are soft metals and this is pure beryllium so um, there's no alloying agents or anything like that. So anyway, uh, I thought this would be a fun introduction. I don't know if anybody is ever going to want one like this, but I personally, I think it's really cool. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, if you want one for yourself or more interested in more info, come on over to Luciteria.com and uh, hit me up with an email. Thanks so much. This is Raciel for Luciteria.